Okay, this is again a follow up video to the two videos that I made earlier. This is different in terms of the notation that is being used. I've given you a Z variable and I've asked you to calculate the probability of this first part. Um, now remember that unless your exam ex requires you to do a certain amount of working, what you can do is you can directly use your calculator to calculate this value. Um, you can go to menu, you can go to distribution, again, go to normal cumulative distribution. And as highlighted before, when you are calculating such a probability where you have a certain value of Z and you want to calculate the probability of Z below this value, the lower has to be minus 10, then upper is the value that you want to insert as uh, visible on the screen as well, sigma is one and mu is zero. And then I press equals to, to calculate and get the value of the probability 0 0.9474. Now, if you were an A-level math student, um, you would have to show me a certain amount of working before you got to your final answer. What would that working be? You would start the question here and then first write this and then go ahead and do the same calculations that I did on my calculator right now. And that should give you your answer. For let's say then part B, I could again do part B directly on my calculator and say that I want to calculate the probability of Z greater than 0.76. Now, in any case, uh, now your calculator is then capable of calculating all of this directly. I go to again, normal CD, this is 0.76 on the question, okay? Now, notice that on this question, what I have is I have a low value of 0.76 for Z, and I'm asking you to calculate the probability of the values above it. So in this case, the lower will be 0.76. The upper can be any value above four, let's keep it 10. The other two things will remain the same. And you press and you get your answer, 0.2236. Now, if you were an A-level math student, what you would do instead is you would first apply the rules of the normal distribution and say that this has to first boil down to one minus pi of 0.76. Then on your calculator, instead of the working that I just did, you would clear this and instead write minus 10 again in the lower value. Then on the upper value, you would calculate 0.76. The other two things remain the same and you get your answer. So on your A-level math exam, you have to show me a certain amount of working before you can get to your final answer, okay? And then you go to the normal mode and you do your subtraction, one minus 0 0.7764. And then you end up with the same answer.